Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you are not a content creator, this sentence is probably going to seem kind of ridiculous. But whenever you're on vacation is when the craziest news breaks. And normally it's like like I'm always at my computer when noon hits, right? So I'm telling myself, you know, it's a Friday, maybe there'll be some offer worth reviewing, but there's nothing that's going to like stop me from having uh, a really important video to come out or anything, especially if it's just like a Sig Stone pack. And uh, the good news is I got half of that right because the Sig Stone pack, that's always an A+. Even though I will say this, the, the champions that I really needed at Sig 200 are already at Sig 200. So even though I spent a lot of money during July 4th week, like a lot of money, um, it allows me to look at this that I would normally spend 50 bucks on and say, you know, I don't really need the Sig Stones this time I think I'm good so it's saving me future money because I did a good job of like putting the SIGs in the right champs now that may not sound that important to you but it definitely does to me and my budget because even though I tend to wail out on big holidays I still want to be responsible on this channel well before we uh, jump into breaking down the triple platinum track in a different video I have to give this message, a thousand percent credit. It says, greeting summoner due to an unintended exploit. Some players were able to collect all rewards from the Hades Rift side quest in a single run. To account for this, we are awarding all players who did not engage with this exploit additional entry keys and all special gate keys to allow exploration of all paths a single time. Please tap below to claim your items. So the best part of this by far if I'm reading this right, and maybe I'm not, but it's that now everybody gets not one, but two generic six-star awakening gems possible. That is how I'm reading this. By the way, we also have an update about the double track event under updates. And again, I will do that in a separate video, but I wanted to jump in and do this first. So Kabam had uh, two choices. They could punish the people who exploited the bug that, oops, as always is a uh, kabam caused, not human caused, or they could just give everybody the rewards. And I did a video where I talked about how if I was running kabam, I would just give everybody a chance to do the paths that everybody else took advantage of. It wouldn't break the game like some other bugs. It's not like giving everybody 1,250 mythic crystals though that is still certainly a dream of mine is to open that many crystals i understand why why they didn't but this youtube this is amazing and here's the thing i've already opened one generic six star awakening gym i even forgot about that so i think that means at minimum i'm going to get three from this event which would without a doubt make this not even like controversially the greatest side quest for my account ever and I'm not saying that everybody has to think that because it's so much RNG dependent that it depends on the luck. But if everybody can get two generic six-star awakening gems for free, I think objectively, at least everybody who can complete threat level five, I should say, which I would, if everybody who can enter it with confidence, do it. Do it because it's so worth it. It's so unbelievably worth it. Okay, so let's zoom in. Of course, I'm talking about this with um okay so i think i think this is the path that we want to go down this is the the bottom path i'm going to select i'm going to open this gate and you can see path e which is not dotted because I've already completed it is a path that I can go back to. And the item is still right there. It's not like once you go over it, it disappears. It remembers that you were there. It shows you that again, you haven't been over this or you have been by this path before. Okay. I'm going to uh, attempt to do something kind of awkward. I'm going to put the microphone on my stomach and do gameplay manually. If this works, I should have four generic six-star awakening gems 
which is the most I have ever had, and half of them would be for free, which remember, Thronebreaker players, Kabam was wanting you to spend... Oh, great falter, though. Oh, God. Uh, Kabam was wanting you to spend... A hundred bucks? Look at that. Take that, Heavy. Alright, not the best fight. The, the irony is, in that gameplay, I literally faltered. Um, now this guy is fun to fight with Domino because you just do heavies. If you just do heavies, you never have to worry about his blue, invisible effect. So I'm just going to do this. And that's it. And that is so much damage that two heavies might do it. Okay, it's going to be three. But look at that. Look how easy that fight was. Domino, Red Hulk, and Masakre literally massacre annoying defenders. And they make it to where it is so relaxing to do this. And even Spot, who I hate fighting, and obviously in Battlegrounds you don't get synergies, so it's a whole different ballgame. But this guy, you look at how little I'm stressed... Also, the Restoration Kit Synergy allows me to gain 10% health back, although it's a little bit less than that because of recoil masteries. But still, I've gained about 20% health back during those two fights. I have gone over the generic 6-star Awakening Gem. I've allowed myself a chance to go back to this. We're going to skip the node choice. And we're just going to complete this task here. I am so impressed. I'm going to stick with Domino because I'm stubborn. Even though... I'll just double check this. See, I always forget. Maybe it's just me. I forget he's not incinerate immune. Because it makes no sense to have Dormammu be incinerated. He's like Ghost Rider. Who they corrected and no longer can take incinerate damage. But somehow... Dormammu hasn't been given that same gift. I'll take it. It makes this fight really easy. I mean, look at what I just did, but it makes zero sense. Okay, so we've completed this. Remember, it's path E. You want to go south at the beginning of this. It'll say no resources collected, but then when you go back to the generic inventory, instead of three, it should stay, say four. And indeed, mine says four. So... Kabam, you're the best for this. I have so much respect for the way you handled this. Best decision Kabam has made all year, hands down. They deserve all the flowers and all the credit for this.